Hello, hello Aquarius! Welcome to Angie Vlog. Welcome to your August love reading. I hope you're doing well. I'm sending you good vibes. I just finished doing uh, Tau, uh, Taurus. Taurus, yes, Taurus. <laughs> and it was very heavy. And you know, I don't like to sugarcoat things. So I was trying to make it a little bit light, but it just was going into that path. Um, Definitely a lot of forgiveness. But either way, Aquarius, I promise that I will do your reading and that I will attach it to the recent collective reading that talks about um, karmic justice that is coming to, I don't know, the star side keep coming in. So, you know, the star card is you, Aquarius, okay, and Taro, okay. So some of you could be the star energy, you know, very balanced, very healing. Um, then also the tempers kept coming up and also the judgment and then justice so I feel like that reading is related to that but I don't know we'll see how you're reading Aquarius uh, other than that guys thank you so much for your love for your like your comments your shares your subscribes okay especially you know you help your fellow Aquarius especially in their love energy <laughs> you know if anything comes up you know it can help them out too as well just as it's helping you out okay and also you energetically help the community as well and also you know as you give your beautiful energy, I give back. So whatever situation that comes up in my energy or my field, you know, I can give you guys a heads up, okay? Uh, you know. Ah, all right. So we have marriage and a house. Okay. Okay. Tell us, spirit. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, angels and ancestors. I think your reading is going to be my last right now because I am tired. Woo. Children could be significant here. Someone in thinking about you or thinking they're going through a journey, but maybe some children could be significant here. Someone held in high honor. Courtship. Okay. Judication. So some type of divorce here or some type of court order or something with this main female the message could be significant family room okay bye right, Aquarius so we have marriage house thoughts and journey so someone's thinking about you about this house this marriage Maybe this is something they've been thinking about, or they've been working on, like they want to travel towards you. Okay, collective, Aquarius. Hmm, okay. Yeah, something, they're meant to be doing this. Yeah, and there's a children involved in here. There's an expected income. Maybe some of you are getting an inheritance for your child or something like that, for you and your child. Okay, main female here, somebody left you something, sudden wealth, and there's a lot of people who are going to be stuck, this fuck, fake person, it's going to be stuck in poverty, yeah, they did something, they try to do something here, this main male and then main female, mm. something about a child here. Something is over as well. Whatever anybody try to do to you, Aquarius, I don't know. I feel like the energy is that if you have a child or you want a child or some of you. I feel like this child is like anointed or something very, someone, some, someone like this kid is very gifted. Yeah main male mean female i don't know something some of you a couple or someone who got married or recently get married congratulations or just have uh, just had a baby this month of august you know i don't know there's a lot of good things coming your way and there's a lot of death happening and people in poverty and stuff like that for anybody trying to jeopardize this connection and this child i'm hearing yeah this person is like uh Yeah, there's a message of concern here. Again, great fortune. Ooh, you guys are receiving some months of money. 
this month. But also I'm hearing good energy, okay? So it's not just about the money, but also this is about stability. It's gonna bring you good stability, which is a very good blessing, okay? Let's see which tower are we gonna use. We're gonna use the mermaids. Mm -hmm. We can use this one. This is a healing uh, crystal one. I don't know if I like using it for you guys. There's a new beginning. Something is being illuminated to you. There's a child. Somebody who brings like a lot of light and healing in to you guys. I don't know. Feels like really good energy. Or let's see, Aquarius, the month of August for you. The Eight of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Something is shifting. There is some type of communication coming towards you. Some type of, maybe that's what we saw the message. Like there's a message or something coming towards you. Or like a new idea or something like is going to be like illuminated to you, Aquarius. Let us know. You know. I feel like using this energy too. You know, I, they work with the other signs, so I want to see. Okay. Okay, so we have strategy in reverse, and we have women holding the coin, the seed, yeah. Or men, women holding the heart, but there's some this type of deceit. Lord to spirit. Some of you are being guided to listen to your intuition to spirit. This person has been trying to affect someone's like confidence or like their solar plexus. It talks about money, right? There's some money deceit or something here, like a contract. So I'm hearing like before you sign any contract, make sure that you're you're reading all the details. Okay, yeah, I'm not holding the coin here. Victory in reverse. Are these all reverse? My God. Yeah, something is not going to be successful here. I feel like you guys are going to see through the lies, okay? There's someone trying to lie to you. I feel like they feel because you're kind, you're very loving, you're very uh, sympathetic and stuff like that. But they don't know. Like, you're very connected to spirit. Like, you'll know. Like, your intuition will tell you. Like, your ancestors are going to tell you when someone is being deceitful and lying. Some type of contract, maybe a job or something like that. Make sure you're you're reading the the papers well, okay, uh, Aquarius. There's someone here man, holding the coin, like you could be a con artist, someone like trying to deceive you, okay. But the victories in in reverse. This person is is not gonna be successful. This trickery, whatever they're trying to do to you. Yeah, they're mad and pissed if you're somebody who's healing, who's working on themselves, who know your worth, you know, you don't take any contract or anything like that. And that too is like their strategy. You're going to see there's something off about the way they work or how they do things. Like they do things in a very, very canadic way. You're going to know. Yeah, caring connection. The world card. Some of you could be dealing with someone who is still maybe married, so be careful with that. There's someone who could pretending to be single or something like that, but they're broke as fuck. And they're married. They could be married. That's why I think you're gonna find out that they're married. So be careful with that. This person likes to do this, pretend to be single. That's like their strategy. So weird. Yeah, it's something that they do, the world card. That's what they are, they're broke. The door to value, action in reverse. They don't appreciate what they have. 
some of you are let go of this attachment yeah you know your crown chakra is lit you're you're listening to this. some this person is on balance something's not right their heart chakra is closed yeah see they're envious and jealous or some of you you have a lot of jealousy and envious energy here some of you uh you're meant to be closing uh some type of toxic connection like your spirit guys have been trying to talk to you about this okay this is why there's financial situations in your love life right now some of you have been losing a lot of money you don't understand why it's because you're attached to someone who's deceitful who literally has a financial curse in them this man could be a man for some of you others of you there's a woman who has a divine not divine masculine energy like really distorted okay some of you could be married to this person or maybe working with this person or have a soul contract i'm here a soul tie you could be having a soul tie this could be a karmic soul tie some of you you know you need to cut the cord like talk to spirit or anybody who honestly i will talk to god that's it like that's the only person who can cut this type of karmic situation because this person is i'm hearing a habitual liar they lie about everything they do they lie so be careful Aquarius. okay it's supposed to be a love reading oh my god but you know how it is i don't i don't like to sugarcoat things you know guys i like to speak tell you guys the truth but before i give you the gist like i don't want to give you a love reading and then this person is a fucking liar and can even you know what i'm saying now let's uh, talk about this new caring connection after you close this cycle, right? Because we saw the world card in reverse. So let's see. Angels and ancestors. Yeah, the high priest. Very spiritual connection. Some of you need to be more disciplined with your spirituality. Whoa. I'm still on the floor. Two, three cards. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're saying to leave it like that. Just so you know, my deck is actually upright and these two came out in reverse, so I can't make this up, okay? King of Cups in reverse. We have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. And we have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, okay? You saw that, right? I shuffle and yeah. So I feel like the Most High is giving you signs, guys, that this King of Cups in reverse see garnet uh energy like this person is trying to block your foundation they're emotionally unstable they could be having a financial curse because they're not there's something that they like to lie about okay they lie a lot some of you need to be um, purchasing amethyst or having an amethyst crystal or necklaces or something it's like you need to tap into your intuition okay and protect it because this person is trying to deceive you see what that this is also uh the nine of pentacles yeah this is someone that comes in and out but they don't have any money so how do they access their money spirit like this is weird seven of pentacles in a rest you reap what you sow so this person is dealing with some karma like financial lack or something like High Priestess is for trying to jeopardize someone who's spiritual or something yeah the four of wands Hmm. Four of Wands talks about celebration, wedding. Um, the High Priest is the same thing, like it's the higher fund. A wedding, a marriage. Okay, spirits clarify the High Priest. Yeah, the Tower card. This is the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is very greedy and selfish. Something happened to reveal this to, to you guys the ten of swords yeah this is the ultimate betrayal this person betray you oh my god i'm sorry if this is bad news or if you just find out again this is time present and future you know time is reading i don't know if this already happened or it's about to happen like you're gonna find out this person betray you there's an ultimate betrayal here 444 four could be significant Four of Pentacles, this person has been holding information, some type of information, something that about money, like they lie about some type of money that they have or they inherited or something. 
the high priest is usually the high priest is like higher fun so it's like doing something out of like you know in order and stuff like that or doing something like you know of like having integrity and values and stuff like that i feel like this person is like doesn't have any like they're constantly partying celebrating like they're spending money that is not even theirs Serious. Clarify the King of Cups in reverse. Wow, that's a lot. But I see the page. Yeah, this person is a page. Wow. So you have the Three of Wands, the Moon card, the Five of Pentacles, the Emperor. I feel like they're clarifying all the cards right now. The Seven of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, this person sits and waits. I don't know, I feel like... Yeah, they have a financial... Uh... Yeah, Six of Swords. You guys being divinely guided to move away from this. Yeah, like you're building the strength to do this. There's a King of Wands energy. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. When Wheel of Fortune talks about Jupiter again, like I said, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, uh, Pluto are in retrograde right now, so this person is getting what they put out. Like, I don't know, there's some stingy with money, stingy with information, or selfish greed. That is caught up with this person and i feel like maybe they've done something in them what the moon card talks about hidden secret things that have been hidden as coming to light like the five of pentacles is someone like with lack mentality or lack like financial stability or self-control with money they could be gamblers this person could be a gambler the emperor likes to control things and when they don't go their way they try to manipulate it okay Yeah, the Page of Swords, this person, it could be talking bad about other people, maybe. The Emperor could be a father figure or something like that. Someone who's very, like, their mentality is very lack. It could be dealing with a Cancer, Fire Signs, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, okay, here, Aries, a Cancer. This Mars retrograde as well. I feel like there's something there's gonna there's more things that are gonna be revealed to you about this person, this marriage, this commitment, this maybe this person likes to apologize a lot, but they do this like over and over again. The hermit mode. Yeah, I feel like they do this in the hidden, like they do stuff hidden and then they watch to see if it works. Yeah, see the King of Pentacles and the Death cards here. Some of you could be very loyal, very committal, very uh, stable. I'm hearing death spells. There's someone here doing death spells? What the fuck? Yeah, doing full moons and new moons. This is someone from a distance, like they're not even close to you. Some of you need to be going into your hermit mode, okay? Or healing. Some of you are healing this. Others of you, this person could be in prison or something like that, I'm hearing. Nine of Cups. See the star. There you are. With the Five of Swords. Some of you, you have a lot of envious, jealous energy. And basically there's something that needs to end here in order to begin there's a rebirth a new birth or some of you like with the hermit and the death card there's definitely a lot of healing like this king of pentacles have to go through i feel like this king of pentacles could be you or someone in your energy or someone wants to come towards this star this spiritual priest here who maybe they're deal with like a very toxic energy very someone very emotionally unstable 
could be this emperor. Very controlling, very manipulative. I don't know. They have hidden motives. And it's something about money, like trying to control someone with money or trying to keep them like in financial lack or something like that. But this king of pentacles like something they're ending in order to like that's what the death card here and the, the king nine of cups is like they admire this star yeah the nine of wands some of you this person is the wounded warrior or this could be you but there's a lot of the five of swords is envy it's jealousy deceit it's lying someone's lying they, they lie about this about this person or some of you, they could have lied about this star here, this high high priest, this higher fund. Yeah, it's to keep you stuck. It was meant, they, they did this on purpose. The hangman. I feel like this king, king of cups did this. Yeah, to this queen of cups. So this queen of cups could be this star. This could be you, very nurturing, very loving. Yeah. Very intuitive. I feel like this person took your kindness for for weakness, right? And they try to do the most here to you and to this King of Pentacles here. Yeah, Three of Swords. You guys are wow. Here you go. There's the Empress. Try to leave your heart broken because you're very nurturing, very loving, very healing. Some of you can could be mothers, you know, could be single mothers. Or maybe you're just a very motherly nurturing, like if you don't have any children. See the Nine of Swords, someone, someone's mad here. Yeah, someone's mad because you rejected them or something like that, because you have to, because they're like too much. They're constantly liars, they're always lying. And they're very jealous and vindictive about this, about this rejection, like you have to reject them, like what the fuck? All those of you, rejection is divine pro uh, protection. This is why you're starting a new beginning, the full card. You're taking a leap of faith. Or someone's taking a leap of faith towards you now. They want to speak some type of truth. I'm here. I want to be your knight shining armor. Uh, I feel like they were healing this feeling rejected. Maybe they were rejected a lot in the past. Maybe you rejected them in the past. But I feel like they still want to take this leap of faith towards you. Yeah, the Eight of Wands. They want to communicate. They see victory and success with you. Yeah, a lot of people are going to be sad about this love, this connection that you have, this true love that you have with this person. Yeah, that you're ending cycles. I feel like the World Card talks about expansion. Yeah, with the Ace of Cups. This person wants to uh, travel with you, uh, build a life with you. But there's a lot of people sad and grieving because they don't want this to happen or... Some of you is, could be your exes or this person ex or something like that. Yeah, they're trying to block this connection with negativity, like evil eye I'm hearing. Yeah, this person is, you're someone's wish fulfillment and they're your wish fulfillment too. The past, it could be that you were confused. Yeah, the seven of swords, the sneaky stuff doing behind the back. See, the chariot. He talks about... Um, yeah, this person wants to move forward with you. The temperance here, they want to heal this connection and they want to bring justice. Something must be balanced here. Yeah, you see? They want to have this Ten of Cups energy with you because you're the Queen of Pentacles. You're someone very balanced, very loyal. You're, you're an Empress. You really are. Yeah, they see, they want to work with you. They want to collaborate with you. I feel like this person is very passionate towards you. Holy moly. Yeah, something is burning in them. Yeah, it's this offer. They want to offer this to you, but I feel like they, they know you're very guarded. All those of you, this person has a lot of anxiety about this. Yeah, so they're manifesting. They want to manifest this communication. They're going to come towards you. They're going to communicate. The Ace of Swords is speaking the truth here because they see you as a long-term uh, generational wealth. Like they want to build this family with you. They want a long-term commitment. Yeah, this is a pentacle. And they know this is going to be successful or this is your confirmation for some of you. If you are the divine masculine, Aquarius energy, okay? Yeah, you're getting your confirmation. Six of, this is, 
reciprocity yeah this is balance again six of swords moving from rough water to calmer waters yeah some of you are building the strength towards this during this time which is good keep healing yeah you're a leader you're very could be dealing with a leo sagittarius okay wheel of fortune yeah this person is destined like i'm hearing the wheels are turning for this person who went through a lot the five of wands here a lot of conflict yeah, they had to wait, walk away from a lot of things. A lot of things. They were dealing with a lot. Some of you have died. You were dealing with a lot of things, okay? All right. Let's see what the angels want to tell you. But so far, so good. This is good energy, Aquarius, okay? So keep the faith. Keep the hope. Keep believing, okay? You're a beautiful energy empress, whoever you are. Divine master and divine feminine, okay? If you resonate with uh, divine... Feminine energy, beautiful, keep healing. The Empress is all about self-care, self-love, okay? Because there's somebody new who coming towards you. They're ending a lot of things. They're going to a huge death from the transformation. It could be an ego death, okay? But yeah, they have to overcome a lot of things. A lot of emotionally unstable people. Parents, father figure, or something like that, okay? Yeah, you're an entrepreneur. Some of you are entrepreneurs. Look at that, beautiful. Self-employment suits your disposition and intentions. Working for yourself allows you to better follow your intuition and divine guidance. We are your co-workers and teammates who remain loyally by your side to ensure your success in all ways. And I feel like this is something that you have dealt with a lot, like on very unloyal and trustworthy people. People who saw you, your, your, um, your financial balance and stuff like that, like as something that they could you know, just try to take from you, you know, without any reciprocity. And I feel like this is, yeah. And I see like you're noticing this, like you or your person are noticing who are the people who have kept you stuck? Who are the people who are taking uh, over your energy? That's what it is. Like they're reaping what they sow. Like whatever they try to jeopardize or it backfire on them. Yeah, be assertive, okay? Stand your ground, you know, create more boundaries, okay? The situation can be healed gently and with love as you requested. Yet there is also a need for your strength and truthfulness with the other people involved. We will stand right behind you as you speak your truth, giving your strength and guiding your words. That's what we saw the strength card many times here in this meeting. Did we saw it before? I saw it before, the strength card. Cleanse and detoxify. Yeah, you definitely need to be doing that. Trustworthy guidance. You're getting trustworthy guidance. This reading could be actually your confirmation. Opportunity to forgive. This feels like really similar to, to uh, Taurus. Maybe you guys got Taurus in your chart. As of uh, signs here, we have your sign, Aquarius. We also have Scorpio, okay? Uh, we have, I said, as I said, Aries, uh, Taurus, okay? Virgo, okay, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, lots of Pisces here. I recommend to see those reading Pisces and Virgo, Aquarius, okay. Um, yeah. So with a great love and respect, we ask you to detoxify your precious and sensitive body. At your request, we'll help you to detox, develop life-affirming ways to deal with stress, as well as easy any sorrow or shedding your old ways. Give your cares, worries, and concern to us and feel the beautiful grace of your newly purified body. They want to purify your body and your heart, okay? So that's why we have the Hermit card here, okay? In the depth, there's some purification, cleansing happening at this time, okay? some messages advice for you it's your time to release negativity for one in scorpio you could be dealing with a scorpio right now okay that's why we have the death card here not necessarily but there's something ending here and that's it it's the negativity the constantly thinking bad or overthinking you know what i'm saying like I feel like there's a lot of projection that people and you're absorbing maybe you're like an empath or something like that okay you definitely need to create boundaries okay absolutely a fairy climax approaches moon and aries okay so with this aries guy guy or girl whatever 
Yeah, there's a, there's something here. This negativity from this person is coming to an end, I'm hearing, okay? Yeah, time for healing, absolutely. I just told you guys, the hermit and the death is, uh, you guys are, something needs to end in order to something to begin, okay? Block is on your side, okay? Let me see if the angels have any advice for you, Aquarius. Helpful people, you have a lot of helpful people around you. If not, it's time to look for them, okay? Time to listen to your intuition, though. I feel like you've been taking advantage, people take advantage of your kindness, which is not nice, okay? You gotta, you gotta stand your ground, okay? You gotta have boundaries, okay? That's what you gotta heal, so you can recognize this, okay? There's something better, okay? If you're asking, that was it. There's something better. Maybe you didn't have helpful people, and now the angels are saying there's something better. All this of you is a relationship, a very toxic relationship that you're in. Someone who's very deceitful, uh, could be cheating, lying, deceiving, doing something for money and stuff like that, like losing their integrity for money. There's something better, they're saying, okay? Don't compromise your integrity for nobody, seriously. Within the next few weeks. So there's someone new here. If you were manifesting that. Yeah, big happy changes. Okay? Yeah, perfect timing. Some of you need to release a toxic uh, situation, yeah, and recover, okay? Absolutely. Let me see a lot of oracles for you. Ooh. Let's see, angels and ancestors. Orale, sacred union. I've been getting that a lot in this uh, collective. Uh, each of the signs beautiful energy honor and treasure your relationship for it's truly sacred again soulmate oh my god I've been getting this a lot lots of soulmates around here beautiful i love it your soulmates are ready with you in spirit believe this and they will manifest physically okay something about balance needs to be restored here before this can come in yeah a message for you i'm thinking of you this very moment your love fills me with light and i love you oh that's so cute see forgiveness oh this needs to be forgiveness here okay so focus in your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste you create your reality by what you think dream and imagine okay I think I'm gonna leave it here. Let's see if there's anything else. Angel message. Yeah, playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun and shine, okay? I feel like this person wants to be more playful with you, this new person or whoever went through a lot to get to you, okay? And maybe this is you too. Like you're, before you get to your person, it's like a lot. Engagement in reverse. Your love life is ascended to a higher level of commitment. That is over. Whoever, if you're engaged or something like that, someone betray you or lie to you. Fuck that. There's someone better. That's what you're saying. There's someone better. I feel like this is your soulmate. Yeah, release your ex. You have to release an ex. Some of you is that. And honestly, it doesn't have to be just a love reading. It could be an ex family, ex friend, something. You know what I'm saying? Something that was blocking the soulmate. It's literally soulmate right here there's someone blocking your actual soulmate this ex or it could be an ex the time has come to clear your energy for real yeah calling your soulmate your prayers affirmation and visualization help bring you together and i'm guided to leave it here all right my taurus beautiful people i hope this helped you i'm sending you some good vibe um i hope this you know brings you clarity truth and justice i hope you release this toxic energy so this beautiful blessing that's trying to come in comes in okay definitely forgive yourself and trust the guidance that you've been getting okay is that it spirit i think that's it let's see yeah eight of cups <laughs> Oh my God, creative inspiration, beginning new, love, marriage, your cup is overflowing, yeah. Keep overflowing that beautiful cup, okay? Because your person is coming, the actual person who is worthy of your energy, who deserves, who you actually deserve, okay? That person, it was just a lesson that you needed to learn. 
you know and then that's it your new high level soulmate is coming so good luck aquarius and you so much love make sure you like comment and share and subscribe okay and i'll see you next time Mwah. bye